Hello everyone, my name is Harshit Pandey. I am currently pursuing BTEC from NIT Kurukshet in Computer Science Department. In this video, we will learn about how to install Spark in Windows 10. So these are the steps that you need to follow to install Spark in Windows 10. So first of all, there are two prerequisites that you need to install that is Java and Python. You, uh, you might as well have them installed in your system. If not, you can go to these websites and install them. There is no requirement of version so you can install the latest version as well after you have successfully installed java and python you need to verify whether they have been installed in your system or not to verify them i'll show you the method this is to check whether you have installed java on your system or not you need to type java slash version so this shows that Java has been successfully installed on your system. You need to do the same for the Python as well as both are prerequisites for Spark. Since you are not getting an error, both uh, Java as well as Python is installed in your system. Now we can proceed with the Spark installation. So let's get back to the, our steps. Now you need to download Spark. To download Spark, you can go to any website. Better to download Spark from official website. That is the Apache Spark.apache.org. So here you need to download the TGZ file. That is a zip file. You can straight away download the latest version. So this is the file downloading is start. I've already downloaded this file, so I will not download this file again. Uh, you can download the file. I will show you the file as well. After downloading the file, you'll get a zip file. This file, Spark 3.1.1 win.hadoop 2.7 so what you need to do is you need to extract this file after ex extracting you'll see a series of folders so this shows that your spark has been downloaded now you need one extra file that is winutils file this file is also available in hadoop the use of this file is to run shell commands on windows so you need to download this file as well. So you can straight away type download winutils.exe for Spark 64-bit. The 64-bit depends on your system. You can download the 32-bit version as well. You'll get a lot of git pages where you'll find winutils.file. After downloading that file, you need to create a folder named Hadoop and you need to create another folder named bin. Inside that bin, you need to place your winutils.exe file. This file is very important as it will be used to run shell commands in Windows. And actually, this does not matter where you uh, place this file because later on we can specify the variables accordingly. But it's better to place this file in Hadoop slash bin because this is the way that it is done in Hadoop also. So you can run both this thing at the same time. Now, for our final step, we again go back to the R steps. Now, we only need to add two variables to our environment that is Hadoop Home and Spark Home. Do keep in mind that if you have already installed Hadoop, Hadoop Home variable will be already created in your system. So here we keep the variable value to desktop Hadoop 
this is the place where you have stored your winutils.exe file and do keep in mind for running spark you do not need to add the slash bin path so you only need to add fill hadoop this is the location of the bin file that will contain the winutils.exe file so there is no need of uh, adding the path of bin now the second variable that you need to add is spark home now this is the place where you have ex extracted your spark this place where where it contains bin configuration data and all the other files so after adding these two variables you are good to go if you have already installed hadoop sometimes there is also a variable named java home it creates some error with spark so you might need to remove that variable now after adding these two variables we are good to go to verify whether the spark has been successfully installed or not we need to go to a cmd we need to navigate to the place where we have downloaded the spark i have kept it in the downloads folder you might as well go to your place where you have extracted the spark we need to go to bin inside spark and we have to type spark shell spark space Hyphen shell. There should be no space between spark and hyphen. This is a single command. You might need to wait for about a minute for the first time when you run the spark shell command. So if you see the spark printed on your screen, this shows that you have successfully installed spark. So this is it for the video. Thank you.